we're going to be looking at the vertical horizontal or the VH. So the VH came to be a few years ago, early 2000s by Francois Allaire. It was something I think that Francois and JS put together in Francois's time with the Anaheim Ducks led to the Ducks winning the Stanley Cup in 2006. Um, JS also had a pretty significant run with them back in 2003. Anyways, this is a safe selection that a lot of coaches and goalies have gotten away from over the last few years. Reason being, with young goalies, there tends to be a lot of, of butterfly work done by coaches. Unfortunately, the word studio coaching kind of comes into mind here. So therefore, the transition from learning the butterfly to then learning the reverse vertical horizontal or the RVH is a lot easier. Balance points are a little bit different because you're basically down almost in a full butterfly. Therefore, with progressions, the RVH is a lot easier to pick up, a lot easier to teach. Therefore, a lot of coaches and goalies kind of favor that technique over the VH. The VH is still a very strong technique to use on a dead angle, especially if there's no backdoor option. A lot of the goalies have, and goalie coaches have progressed the VH into a uh, dead angle, kind of all or nothing block save with some mobility off the pulse into a short side save or possibly out into the middle. So looking at Carey Price here, in my opinion, one of the best in the game up there with arguably with some of the legends, unfortunately doesn't have the same hardware. When you get an opportunity to watch one of the best in the game work on a technique, in my opinion, you should take it up regardless of how you feel about their career. So here, we're just going to watch Price did one of the reps early just to work on his balance, his footing. So you want to see here, as Price starts to move, he's already got his eyes down, visual contact on the puck. Tracking is key no matter what we're doing. Now, as he's moving back towards the post, he is starting to collapse into the VH. However, he doesn't fully commit and then try to slide in in the VH into the post. You can see here that he's getting his foot to the post, blade to the post, heel on post early, and then he's settling in into the save selection. Here, from the shooter's perspective, there's not a lot of net availability based on where he was shooting from is what we want to notice here is in actuality the amount of net that's available as coach Pierre grew is taking a shot so we have this box here as we're looking at this these lines here being the box control ropes looking at where the puck originated from and then what actually was available to the shooter. So a lot of people have an issue with the VH, especially this being the dead arm with Carey Price's arm here straight down on the side of the post. So we see spots opened up over his shoulder and then based on the camera angle here in the back door. What you want to realize is where Pierre Gru is shooting from here, based on the back post and the front side post, there it really isn't a lot to shoot at. Obviously here, Price has got the bottom half of the net taken away. This isn't necessarily because he's a taller goalie at six foot three plus. 
it's positionally and foundationally how he has everything set up. We want to notice here the vertical leg or the leg closest to the post has a complete seal short side. Where his arm is here, it's actually outside of the post and kind of helping create the seal short side. So as we'll see when Price starts to move off the post, the dead arm is going to allow him to slide into more of a blocking butterfly. So the equipment technology at this point, Price's pads being softer, a lot of the rebounds are kind of jutting out into a five foot radius in and around the net for the most part, or the pucks are actually bouncing off into the corner. Going back to the technique, it's a vertical leg. This is where a lot of the younger goalies struggle is with this balance point here and being able to keep their shoulders up against the post. What you'll tend to see with a lot of younger goalies is a little bit of a lean. So then the more they lean, obviously this hole here is going to become more prominent, bigger, easier target for a lot of shooters especially shooters these days, are getting taught about dead angle shots and looking for opportunities, how goalies move into their safe selections. This is why it's key that goalies need to have a pretty deep tool bag or toolbox of safe selections so that we're not as predictable. A lot of shooters are working on technique based on shooting technique based on the RVH, the reverse vertical horizontal. Sliding into the VH, there's not as many holes that are going to open up on the short side. So this is something I want a lot of you to take notice of where goalies are going into the RVH. They'll tend to be a bit of a gap in around here or a little bit lower as they're starting to drop in because this leg here, the vertical leg, as it's coming down and starting to, to drift down into a short side butterfly once the goalie hits the post, they're going to leave themselves vulnerable to shots coming in the short side just over their pad if the shooter is looking for the goalie dropping down and they have puck possession. The other thing I want you to notice here is Price's balance. His shoulders are fairly fairly square here. His hands are symmetrical. Also, neutral elbows allowing him to tighten up in front. Again, yes, this is a blocking save, but there has to be some reactability. The goalie must have a reactive mindset. You can't just go into a save from a position of hope. I hope the puck hits me. I hope it carries off into an area where it's not going to lead to an immediate scoring chance. For the most part here, we are going to see carry block on this, but I want you to notice the balance points, the seal. So we're looking at the backside leg here, the horizontal Flush to the ice, great balance point, is white evenly distributed here because of the way the video is stopped, slightly over the right leg, but still balanced enough that there's no holes in the short side. So let this play through again. Okay, here we're going to go into watching price release off the post. And again, notice here going into a more of a blocking style butterfly. Again, the video is still a little old, but still very relevant. Some goalie coaches may elect to change the goalie's hand position slightly. For the purposes of this video, we're not going to focus on that. We're just going to focus in on the VH and the release from the VH after the save.
Just looking here at the other side, again, excellent balance here by Carey. You can see he's got his eyes down, again, tracking in on the puck. Can't stress enough that the eyes have to lead the body. The eyes have to be down and over the puck, shoulders coming in towards the puck. All right, nice athletic build in the body. So goalie in their stance. We're looking for a bit of a Z pattern here. Now carries dropping in, nice and tight on the post. We have the blocker arm here, holding a goalie on the post, not consider the dead arm as obviously we're not gonna hold our, our blocker arm up in the air. Elbows helping us tighten up on the post sealing off short side great stick position here you could end up vulnerable with shots in on the five hole on this side so we want to make sure we get a good stick position but once the pads are sealed here the stick doesn't become quite as important and we also want to take note of the glove position the glove position is out forward again the hands are relatively symmetrical. Same with the shoulders. Excellent biomechanics here by Carey. I see why he's one of the best. Balance helps with safe selection, helps with directing the puck, helps with recovery.